Home maintenance is the worst. I hate it, you probably hate it. And I know this is quite possibly the least exciting topic, but stick with me for a second, because home maintenance is about to get a lot more fun after you watch this video. Show me the money! Welcome back to Future Smart Home. My name is Ben, and this channel is all about simplifying your life with smart home technology. There's nothing fun about changing filters, cleaning lint from the dryer, emptying the robot vacuum, but I have a solution that actually is fun. My problem with home maintenance is that it's the last thing I wanna think about, but I do it because it keeps my home running smoothly. Before, I used to forget these tasks all the time until I'd wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Maintenance is usually infrequent, sometimes once a month, once every six months, once every year. These timeframes are hard to keep track of in a normal to-do system. But this sort of preventative maintenance is really important. For a while I was using task apps, but I'd miss the reminders and I'd never be reminded again. It was just a huge pain to remember all these things. So now my smart home keeps track of all of the maintenance tasks throughout our house. You can see here on my home assistant, a list of alerts that I've set up and the number of days since that task was last completed. This is a really useful view, but what's even better is that when a particular task is due, I get a notification. And if I don't do anything about it, I get a notification the next day and the next day and every day until I actually complete the task. Now you might be thinking, how does my home know that I actually completed a task? Well, here's the fun part. To stop the notifications, I put NFC tags all throughout my house as a way of resetting the maintenance alert. And I just have to scan it with my phone. It's awesome and it feels very satisfying. You don't have to use these, but I'll put a link to the NFC tags I'm using in the description below. There's two things to know. They aren't stickers, so you need some tape. And sometimes you have to push your phone right up to the tag to get it to work. But these are a great physical reminder. And eventually when my kids get older, I'll add some gamification. And well, you see where this is going. Leaderboards. Now let's dive into Home Assistant and I'll show you how I have everything set up. Here we have the maintenance dashboard and what these are, are helpers. So these items are counters. They just count up a particular number uh, every single day. And I'll walk you through how those different automations work. For example, days since dishwasher filter changed. This is one that I actually do pretty frequently, once every seven days. And every single day, it's going to be incremented by one. So how do I do that? Let's jump over to the automations tab. So here, there is a daily increment and stats reset automation. This happens every single day at 5 a.m. It actually does a lot of other things, resetting various different states, modes, uh, whether the robot vacuum ran, but to call attention to this one very large action that you see here, this is one that I increment for all of our maintenance tasks. So it's a simple service called counter increment and it just increases the number for each of these counters, which is really easy to do, and it happens every single day. The next thing that happens, this automation, daily maintenance notifications, is triggered every single day at 12 p.m. This also does a few extra things, but specifically, you can see here within the actions, it looks for whether the days since dishwasher filter is above six, which would mean it was on its seventh day. And again, this is a counter. All it does is just uh, increment its state. And you can see this as a helper within Home Assistant. It's a type of object that once it gets above six, calls a particular action, which is to send a notification. And it sends the same notification, maintenance required, says the dishwasher filter needs to be changed. So that is how I get notifications. And they happen every single day until I actually complete the action, which I'll show in a second. And you may be thinking, all these notifications could get really annoying. And that's kind of the point, they do. But for me, it's really effective. You can set this up however you want. And it's honestly nice to know for me that my home isn't going to forget the way that some of my task apps do and I'll only get one notification and then I won't get one again. So it's very persistent, but I wanted it to be persistent. You could choose to have it act however you want to. I just wanna make a couple of caveats. There are other integrations in Home Assistant like Grossy or Chore Helper 
Uh, even the tasks functionality, which is relatively new in Home Assistant or the calendar integration, all of those are really great options. I chose to do something a little bit simpler. It's also something that works well for me. It's one approach, it's not the only approach, and I've linked all of these other great options down in the description below. In the Shortcuts app, there is a tab called Automations, and the Automations tab is where you set up a trigger, which is an NFC tag trigger. So this is the action that will happen when the specific NFC tag, which I've labeled dishwasher filter, is scanned by my phone. So when that dishwasher filter is connected or detected, it then does this action. It fires an event called NFC dishwasher filter, and it sends that data to Home Assistant you will see that we have an automation here called NFC tag dishwasher filter. Now this is overly simplistic. You could do this with a switch statement based on the trigger IDs. It's a little bit more advanced. And when I was starting out, I just wanted to make it simple. So I have one automation for each trigger, which you don't necessarily have to do, but that's how I did it. So the trigger is looking for, again, that event NFC underscore dishwasher filter, which is arbitrary. I created that and that calls the service counter reset. So that is a resetting back to zero that days since dishwasher filter uh, helper item. And that resets the clock and then every single day it ticks it back up one day at a time. And that's how this automation works in a nutshell. There's a couple of different parts, but it's relatively simple. It works very reliably and I get a notification every single day until I actually complete these tasks. Let me know how you're keeping track of maintenance tasks and reminders in Home Assistant. Are you using Home Assistant's new task functionality or have you built something custom like me? Let me know in the comments and please consider subscribing. I've just started this channel and I'm about to cross the 1000 subscriber mark and I'd love your help getting there. Don't forget those reminders and I'll see you in the future.